Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amplitude and 80, and today I'm bringing you guys something special. Again, I know I always say that, but no, I'm serious. Like this time, I brought you guys quick scoping, something I never do with no camping, and I'm rushing, and I'm playing the objective, and I go 51 and 8. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you soak that all in, you know, breathe. Anyway, it is 12 10 in the morning. I have school today. I should be asleep, but I'm kind of restless. My mom went out to Vegas this weekend, so I have not been home alone. I've been home with my brother. It was a very busy weekend, and I am exhausted. I didn't get to enjoy myself as much as I usually would, but it's okay. And uh, the, today's commentary is going to be a bit uh, different. Usually, you know, I'm all about peace and love and how to keep yourself calm, but, you know, everybody has to vent. So today, I'm going to vent and rant about all the things that get on my nerves, starting with Facebook. Facebook is not your diary, people. I don't... People put up statuses that are just stupid like nobody can relate to them if you're gonna put up a status put up something that's gonna cause some conversation a quote from your favorite song or something like oh i just went to the best part you know something that other people want to make like ask about but don't put something like i'm taking all the exes out of my life except for brandon blah 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 because He's been with me since. I don't give a F, man. Go message Brandon, blah, 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 and tell him that. Nobody else gives an F, okay? And don't, don't God smack Facebook, man. Like, not everybody has the same religion. Don't be like, God has my back, man. No, it's stupid. Jesus Christ. Like, go read a bible you don't have to say it on facebook just to let everybody know you're a christian okay go to church do something that'll actually solve your problem another thing with facebook people for some reason think that if they get a picture of some sick god forsaken child and tell everybody to like and share it they will one gain a uh, an archetype of being a kind caring person and two, think that they're helping them. Nobody gets five million dollar and above operations just because they got a hundred thousand shares on Facebook. You're an idiot. And everybody does it. They fall for it. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. And then for the people and for the other archetype people, they want to be deep and oh my god. And for those of you who don't know. Whitney Houston recently died, and if those of you who don't know, Whitney Houston was a very famous singer. He died very young for her age, and a lot of people cried. And here's what somebody did. They took a picture of Whitney Houston, and took a picture of some starving African children, and a, under the Whitney Houston, they said, one person dies, a million people cry, and then 16,000 children in Africa die every day. No one cries. Okay. You. Okay. One. If Bob down the street who never comes out of his house dies, you're not going to give an F. If he, maybe he was just old and he died. It doesn't matter, really. You're not going to give an F. You didn't know Bob. Bob said nothing to you to affect your life. We cry over people who have affected our lives. Nobody can hurt you except for the people you care about. If nobody cries for the children in Africa, maybe we, it's because, you know, we, we live in America, uh, somewhere far across the land, speak different languages, never met each other in our lives, you know. Uh, that, that could be it, you know. Um, there's a lot of babies who are born and die from birth every day and we never met the babies do you mention them no you're an idiot you're not helping the world you're not what are you doing are you going to africa serving soup and stuff no you're just like hey look at how smart i am putting up possibly fake statistics and people fall for these possibly fake statistics i i just i don't understand i i feel like facebook is people how should i say let me let me reiterate people take advantage of facebook to 
make a frame around them, maybe change the way people think about them. The internet is a place where you can be anonymous, and I guess that's maybe why the hacker group called them. Maybe not, maybe I'm stupid. It's... You can say and do whatever you want and not necessarily have to be punished for your opinion. Uh, if you guys watch an anime called Death Note, I seriously suggest you watch it. They made a statement where if children were in class and the teacher brought up, how do you feel about the execution po like policy or whatever? A girl got up and she said what anybody would say. Well, killing people is just wrong, right? On the internet, you're invincible, untouchable. You can say like, you can say racist remarks. You know, the First Amendment is most utilized on the internet. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want, and it's okay. And I just, it's not, <laughs> I can't stress enough. Don't, don't be, as the kids say, fake. All right, don't be one thing in real life and another on the internet. I, I cannot stand that. It makes me so angry. On to the next thing. Um, I am attempting to be a commentator. You guys know I'm not in it for the money. But, I mean, I do want subscribers. Here's what people do. And, oh, God. They will either add me or send me a message. And these people are commentators or just regular YouTubers with a thousand or more subscribers. They'll comment on my channel saying, nice channel, Amp. Oh, dude, keep it up. Great work. Or add me. And then they won't even like any of my videos or just help me out, you know, and say something on the video. It's like, what? No, you're not helping me with the compliment. Like, do something. And uh, I'm not trying to be a douche. I don't want to look ungrateful. It's just like, this is stressful, you know? It's like, when I, when I put out videos, and then nothing happens, I feel like, hmm, maybe the world doesn't like me. Which isn't true, which just says it's how it's really my purpose. And then, they don't, excuse me, my voice is shivering, it's very cold. But they don't, they don't help, they don't want to help. And you'll message them, and then they don't message back, and it's just blah, blah, blah. Another thing, uh, I was talking to my buddy Carlos, his channel will be in the link in the description below. And he was talking about how um, when he went to Europe, and the people really mean there compared to America. And if you guys don't listen to a famous commentator whose name is Sendigu, he visited America and was talking about how the people are so nice. I I hate people. Now let me let me explain. I hate people that I won't get to know. Meaning I hate that guy who comes up and says, "Hey, how's school?" For some reason, that is just the number one question an adult will ask any teenager. How school? And no teenager is gonna say, oh, it's bad, you know, uh, I'm failing all my classes. No teenager is gonna say that, so stop asking me the question you know you're gonna hear the answer to. I don't, not that I hate you, I kinda do hate you, I'm not gonna say it to your face because that's just, that's bad moral. I wouldn't say that to your face because I just, I don't, I, I, that's why I hate it when my mom's like, take out the trash. Like, I would literally scope out my neighborhood through my window just to make sure I won't have to talk to my neighbors. Not, it's just, they're so talkative, especially the lady down there. I'm getting too, I'm getting too deep into it. They're going to watch me because it hates me. So, yeah, as I was saying, I want to move to Europe because you don't like talking to the people that hate you or maybe you dislike. If in Europe the people are mean, then they're probably trying to get in their own way. And I want to live in a neighborhood that if we and the neighbors, we and the neighbors, wow, my grammar is bad. If I see a neighbor, it will be a high and a buy. Not a high, how's Molly? Hi, how's your cancer? It's... I can't stress it enough. And I'm tired and I'm cranky and I have school tomorrow, you know? It's just I, I I'm done guys. I'm sorry. I had to I had to vent all that out. I don't think I'm angry about anything else. Like this is why I listen to heavy metal and screamo. Like it's just the best music to listen to when you're angry. And so what what uh what keeps me from just be, I don't like people that, uh, that some people are just angry all the time. Like they'll just start complaining over little things. 
And um, I guess I want to end this commentary on a good note. Like, what keeps me... What can I tell you to keep yourself happy in, in a blissful state? And it's kind of... Um, it's kind of peer pressure. Like I was talking about before with the archetypes people try to fix for themselves. I have an archetype at school, in a sense. Um, I'm known as the... I, I don't want to sound cocky when I say it. Like the sweetheart. Like the guy that's not going to call the girl a fat slut. Excuse my language. Or anything like that. I, I, I'm out there to help people. Like if you need help in class, you come to me. I'm that guy. Um, you know... What am I talking about? What, what was I? What was I leading to? Happiness, right, right. And so it's kind of peer pressure that when somebody comes up to me, I don't want to be like, "What the f do you?" No, I want to be like, "Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Or it's sweet or whatever, you know? What do you need help with?" Um, my friends also. Uh, there's only one hothead. Oh, there's like two. No, the other one doesn't count. There's like one hothead in my group of friends, and if he wasn't a hot Hothead, it would be, it would be boring. It's like, you know how you always you need the rockers, the geek, the party dude. It has to be diverse, you know. And they also keep me on my toes, like to make sure, you know, that I don't go angry. However, I don't want you to mask your emotions too much, because uh, with that comes tumors. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I, I, ha I used to have, um, for the past three years, dreams about me having lockjaw. Um, if you don't know what lockjaw is, it's pretty self-explanatory. Your jaw will be stuck in a position you can't open or close it. The dreams that I would have lockjaw, my mouth would be open and I can't close it without the fear of breaking my jaw. It was really, uh, it was horrible. Uh, that being said, finally, a few days ago, I googled it. It turns out a lot of people have the exact same dreams, like the way they described it in detail is the same thing. And uh, somebody replied, uh, here's a link. And I guess that person was in psychology because they also give an explanation. They're saying most people who have this dream are under immense pressure and it's usually about classes. The weird thing about that was the classes in my freshman and sophomore year weren't really hard at all. This year with calculus and AP US history, I could see that. But uh, ever since I read that, I haven't had the dream, so that's good. I'm going off on a tangent because I don't know what to talk about. Mm -hmm. about that, I uh, I lost focus. The morning does weird stuff to you. It is now one o'clock. I have to wake up at six. I'm going to be so cranky. And this commentary is wrapping up. So, like I said, guys, uh, I was trying to tell you how to not be angry. Get, get a hobby. Do something that will fill yourself. Make yourself feel whole. Um, one thing I did wrong, and a lot of people do wrong, and you're probably going to do wrong, your children are going to do wrong, is humans just, like, not a lot of people can do this. Don't spend your life trying to impress the masses. Don't go to school wearing certain things so other people will think better of you. Live your life on the best impulse that will make you feel the best. Impressing people... It, it won't destroy yourself, but you gotta you gotta leave this world happy. I'd rather have a low wage job and be happy than a high wage job and be sad. Um, that being said, guys, life's you're too good to complain about. Like you hear me complaining about stupid little things on Facebook, and there's people out there, you know, watching people's heads cut off and stuff. I, I'm sorry. I'm, be happy. Uh, shout outs to Shaki and Taco Lover. And uh, my boy Carlos and Sean. Carlos is a great commentator. Sean's a beast. I'll put their links in the description below. And uh, have a good day, guys. Peace.